That's right, we're filming on a new camera. It looks a little bit different, more crisp. You can see my face more, which might be bad because you can see me looking more realistic and uglier. But today, anyway, we're talking about the latest album from Corrine, who is a, a synth pop band, a new wave band, that are very much indebted to the sounds of the 80s. There is no denying that. They love the friggin' 80s. And for good reason, because they are good at doing this sound justice. This is quite a nice surprise from this year, I've got to admit. I will say, Spectrum Pulse reviewing it really gave me uh, the heads up on this one because I hadn't heard about these guys before. They've got a few albums under their belt. I will get to those at some point, but for now, I'm really happy with this new album. I think it's really great. It immediately sets up the tone for really, I guess, euphoric and big 80s sounding synth pop tunes right from the get go with the first track, which I think is a really lovely opener to the album. You've got the um, huge like arena sized drums on some of these tracks as well. The drumming is echoey, it smashes, it crashes, it adds a great atmosphere to a lot of these tracks. The vocals are sometimes kind of like buried a little bit in the mix, but then they burst through on the choruses, which gives these tracks a huge feeling to them as well. The coming of age feel to Burn the World and the really lovely melodies that come through, especially in the synths and the vocals, it all sounds really good. There is a bit of an emo twinge to tracks like this, so, and other tracks on the album, which I've noticed, especially coming through with the lyrics. The side being the other track that definitely has that feel to it, especially on the chorus of this track. Some of the vocals come through as well, and they're very like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like very much sounding like they're from like a pop punk tune from 2003, which I think could probably put people off, especially if you're not really into that kind of vocalization that the singer comes through with. But I think it works for the most part. Chimera, I want to mention as well, and Crystalline as being some of the best tracks on this album. Chimera me being quite like a choir boy sounding track. I do wonder if there's any kind of crossover with the band here and choir boy, because there's definitely some sounds that come through that remind me a lot of that band. And I really like choir boy. So anything that does remind me of that is obviously a good thing. And then crystalline with the earnest delivery, the shimmering synths. God, it is just such a great track. The tune that is coming through is great as well. This is easily the highlight of the album for me. I do think there are other, tra other tracks that come close to it, to be fair, but I think this is the one I have to pick as being my outright favourite. Forevermore, later on the album too, reminds me of like some George Clanton type stuff. I feel like the atmosphere that comes through on that track uh, really gives me those kinds of vibes. You've got the more I try as well with the pacey drums and the anthemic singing. Uh, look, there's lots to like on this album. I don't think it's exactly reinventing the wheel. I don't think it's exactly doing something you've never heard before. But sometimes for me, music can just be simple. And if it's doing a sound right and the songs sound good and the core of the tunes are memorable and catchy and sing along e, I guess, uh, which this album has a lot of for me, then I'm more than happy with it. I think it's doing what um, it's set out to do, doing it really well. And yeah, I think some people might be a bit off put by the fact that it sounds so 80s, it sounds so of its sort of influences and that kind of stuff, because it does. But I don't think it holds the album back. That's my opinion anyway. So for me, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. I think it's a really great album. I think it's one that could bring a bit of like a niche cult following forward here because I think a lot of people that do like this kind of earnest synth pop stuff will really take to this really well and I am for, I for one am one of those people and I hope you get a recommendation out of this hopefully you check it out hopefully you enjoy it and let me know your thoughts in the comments as well that would be fantastic have a good day subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye